hello friends welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to be taking a look at user and role management within elasticsearch and kibana and uh, we are doing this using xpack so you can use open distro or anything like that or you can use uh, and then a server's proxy to set up HTTP authentication but uh, this is a more of a refined way of doing uh, user management and, uh, and authentication management and it lets you do much more than uh, what you can do with uh, a basic HTTP authentication so let's get started so if you haven't uh, watched my previous video about how we can set up uh, full user authentication using xpack on elasticsearch and kibana uh, make sure to watch that video up i will uh, add them in the cards uh, of the video so you can go ahead and view that i am going to log in to my admin uh, user which is elastic login and after that uh, we are going to uh, do a few things so first of all, what you need to do is you need to have some kind of data within your Elasticsearch uh, instance. For example, like uh, for right now, I don't have any data within uh, Elasticsearch. So what I'm going to do is uh, Elasticsearch to provide with some sample data. So I'm going to add few sample data. So let's say I want to add flight data and I will also be adding web logs. And once they, uh, these two data sets are done uh, adding to our Elasticsearch, we are going to specify two different users for these uh, specific uh, instances. Like if you go to dashboards, over here you will see two dashboards. One is related to global flight data and the other one is related to uh, web logs. So if you go to flight data, you can see that all the logs are being loaded and you can see uh, view all the logs. And if we go back to dashboards and go back to uh, web traffic, you can see that we are able to access that also because we are the admin user and we have access to everything. And now we are going to uh, restrict, uh, create different roles and manage different, uh, different users so that one user uh, has access to web traffic logs and another user will have access to flight data and uh, the user with access to web logs uh, web traffic uh, logs cannot view the flight data and the uh, user with flight data logs cannot view the uh, web traffic data so let's get started so click on this gear icon at the bottom and go to roles and over here we are going to create two roles so just click on create role and I am going to name this role as web logs and over here we are going to select the index indexes pri uh, privileges like uh, which indexes will be accessible by this role so I am going to uh, assign this uh, web logs to web log uh, user role and privileges will be read only so just select read and after that you can uh, click on create role and now if, uh, if we want to create another role for our flight data so go ahead and click on create role and type i'm going to name this flight data so if you want to name uh, it uh, something else you can do the, uh, do so so I am going to assign this user role to the index Kibana sample flight data and the privileges will be read. So these users will only be able to read the data and they cannot be, uh, update that data. So just click on create role and you now have two different roles for two different indexes. So now what we need to do is we need to create users. So go to users and now click on create user and over here we are going to give this a username of weblogs and the password will also be weblogs and over here we're, uh, we are going to assign the role of weblogs and kibana uh, user Uh, 
So select Kibana user and now create a user account. So it is giving uh, some error with the username. So let's change the username. Oh, I added a space there. That's why the error was there. So now the user has been created. And now we need to create another user for flight data. So just click on create user and the name will be flight. And I am going to give the password also flight. Email and the role for this user is flight flight data and the other user role will be kibana user so the uh, what why we are adding kibana user is because we uh, want these users to be able to log in to kibana interface and then that kibana user uh, role will request uh, data from elasticsearch so if you don't add kibana user uh, as a role for that user you won't be able to log in to your kibana interface and you won't be able to view any uh, data or dashboard so now we have created our two users web log and flight uh, flight data so what we need to do is i'm going to Go ahead and open up a new private window, and over here we are going to log into our instance. So just open up your Kibana interface. This is going to take a little bit of time to load the actual login page. So just be patient. that the interface has loaded so let's first log into flight and click on login and you will be greeted with the q1 interface where you can view all the data so let's wait for that so now it has loaded so if we go to dashboards now and we will be pre uh, presented with the same view as you can see over here we have flight data and web log so as we have logged into flight flight user that means we only have access to the flight data index so if we go ahead and click on flight data we will see that all the dashboards load with the sample data that we imported from imported into elasticsearch give it a set, uh, second and the data will be loaded into the index, uh, proper dashboard positions. As you can see over here, all the data is uh, has started to load into their respective dashboard component, and you can see uh, see and view all the data. Now let's go back to dashboards and let uh, let's try to view the web log dashboard uh, using the flight uh, flight user as we haven't uh, allowed the flight user to be able uh, to have access to web log data uh, we uh, the dashboard will load but the data will not uh, load from the elastic search as you can see over here uh, there is a error that no results were found that means that our uh, role base segregation of different accounts and indexes is working and that we can uh, properly uh, view all the data that is uh, re required to be able to view by a certain user so now if we go back and log out from flights account and log back in using web logs so now we will be able to only view the data related to web logs and we will not be able to view the data that is related to uh, flights 
so let's give it a second until we log out from this session and we log we will now log back in using the weblog user so now just type weblogs and the password is also the same and weblogs you can log in see so the username is weblogs and password is weblog let's go ahead and change the password i think i missed uh, i uh, typed something wrong so let's weblogs Change the password, and now we shall we shall be able to log into our user. And yes, we are able to log in. And now, if we go back to the dashboard section, we will we will be able to only view the data that is related to the web logs, and vice versa, we won't be able to see the data that is related to flights because we don't have authentic uh, authorization to view that. Data. So now, if let's go to flight data, uh, just for a demonstration, that we will see the same uh, behavior that we uh, observed in the uh, flight data user login. So now we will see that there will be no data to display on the flight data dashboard because our user web log don't have access to that index. As you can see over here, it shows that there was no result found related to our query. So now go back to dashboard and now visit your weblogs uh, dashboard and you will be able to view all the logs that are in that index and you can view all the logs and see what is going on. So let it, let's give it a second to load. So as you can see that all our weblog data is has started to load and load into our dashboards and now we can view all the log data so that's how you set up role base of uh, privileges within kibana and elasticsearch and how to set up user privileges and that's it for this video if you like this video do subscribe to our channel do like the video and comment down below if you have any questions and uh, do press the bell icon to stay up to date with our content uh, new content and thanks for watching